here's what we're gonna need for this one. It's nearly the exact same thing that you saw. This is just the unedited straight through version getting the bowl slabs rolled and then into a bowl so that we can dry it out. So we had a couple of those guys right there. I have a little water cup off to the side right here um, so that I can score and slip and make sure that all the things are done. So unlike that video that I showed you, I'm gonna try and get this thing the width that I need it to be, which is going to be as wide as this bowl. And then I'm gonna pass it through in one shot. So here's exactly what this is gonna look like start to finish or start to the point where I can very simply start letting the bowl set up. And again, to start out, I've worked with four pounds of clay and I wanna make sure that I have enough material here so that it's about an inch and a half to two inches wider than the bowl that I'm working with. So I am rolling this by hand. This is something that can be done at your table on a panel. And in fact, I'm gonna go get a panel, or I have one just right here, that I will be working with. So that you can see that once you get your slab rolled, you can actually take this thing over to your table and do the rest of the work. All right, so you'll notice that my slab is long and I want it to be wider. Again, I want it to be the size of this bowl because I'm gonna make a dot like that and I'm gonna make a dot like that. And that's gonna kind of give me an idea about how, um, where to start cutting. So I'm gonna roll my canvas. It's gonna be split 50-50. I'm gonna put my four pounds of clay right in the middle. And I'm gonna even this thing out so that it doesn't have any hiccups when it's going through the roller and I'm going to set my slab roller I'm going to start off at this one at 3 eighths of an inch and this is going to give me a good idea once I pull it out of the canvas how big it's going to be how thick it's going to be and I can make any adjustments go until it catches. I know because it's wide enough, it's going to work 100% of the time, no matter what. And for this one, I'm not gonna turn it again because if it was going through this way, yeah, I'm really gonna wanna have to turn it because it's not gonna be wide enough for it. But in this case, because I haven't set it up like so, then it's just gonna get wider. So 3 eighths is gonna be too thick on my dial now. I'm going to work with one quarter of an inch and see if that gets me enough. Check it, always double check it. Good. And I can see the clay getting wider. And now I definitely have enough. I definitely have enough. It's about an actual three eighths of an inch thick, but I'm gonna go a little bit thinner with this one. I'm gonna go half turn, half turn, and I'm gonna go up and back. A quarter of an inch is, for the most part, going to be your best spot to start, for the most part. And now this is where I'm going to pick up my slab and roll that over, or take it over to my table. Because now I can work over there. So imagine I've moved on. I'm going to practice good habits. I'm going to smooth out my clay, just like I always do. Just like you should always do. Just also compressing it. I'm gonna do both sides. Save me a little work later. Dip that in the water and get a little bit. Compression. This clay loves the compression. Absolutely loves it. All right. So here's where I get to minimize how much work I'm doing. I take the bottom of it, which 
Just gonna give myself a little press right there. Nothing like interesting, nothing too crazy. And that's just to help kind of give me an idea of how big this, or where the bottom of this thing is going to be. And then I'm gonna place that down as best as I can on top. Just gonna leave a little bit of extra. You don't really need a lot. Half inch, inch. Worst comes to worst, you have too much, you cut it down. And this good stuff can go back in my clay bag, wedge this out, absolutely nothing wrong with it. So we're starting off with maybe a four pound bowl. It's gonna end up being about two pounds, if that. And you can see all this stuff is good. I'm gonna go put it back in the box so it doesn't dry out. All right, so here's where we have to do one thing. Um, again, I've said before, if we put if we put clay directly into that, it will sh absolutely work. Like, it'll take the shape. But the thing that's going to end up happening is we're going to very likely to get stuck. So we want to have some sort of release agent. We're going to try saran wrap this year. Plastic bags are kind of hard to come by these days. So you can see, I'm gonna drape my clay inside of there, and that's going to allow it to release itself later on. So at this point, I'm going to take, grab my needle, go on over, please. And I'm gonna give myself just a little cut from there to there. And all that's there for is to help the clay sink into it. Take my slab. Sit that right on top and I'm gonna allow my clay to fall inside and again I lost a little bit of height that's okay not the end of the world let that settle now this is where I could make an adjustment like if I really wanted to add the height of this thing um, my circle would have just had to be bigger so when I flipped the bowl over and I had the thing sitting on top of it upside down i add two inches maybe three inches whatever maybe this measurement is from here to here that's going to give me my big full size bowl now i'm going to be okay with the height of this one but uh oh i got this funny looking bump right here it's way too thick it's double thick simple fix super easy separate that stuff in there now i'm going to take eyeball where that little triangle is and that's gonna settle in there just like so and I got a funny little miss right there easy stuff you guys know this now compress that clay get that stuff connected right in there get a little bit of water for my slip well, you can use slip if you want to if you have that available Press, get that extra stuff off. Cool. So now this is, what's cool about this, this is a pretty gosh darn simple project. At least these beginning stages, the build of the bowl is as simple as you see right there. We've got a damp sponge off to my side. And what I'm basically going to do is compress all the clay into the walls. I'm gonna go up, down, side to side. Just a little bit right there. Then I'm gonna take my smooth rib. I'm gonna do the exact same thing and that's gonna compress that clay further. Again, this clay loves to be compressed into walls for shapes. fingers at this point to kind of smooth things out clean them up I 
as long as you do a good job compressing, smoothing things out, this thing's gonna come out pretty smooth. And I'm gonna stress on the rim later on. That's gonna be done when I clean the thing up. When I pull it out, that's when I will go and organize that situation. Get it nice and clean, precise, pretty, and so forth. Continue working in the round using the flat pad of my fingers to kind of compress the clay. And I'm gonna grab a soft rubber rib and I'm gonna do the same thing. And this is gonna be kind of one of my final passes. And you'll see that this is gonna do a really good job of giving us a nice smooth surface. Still on the camera. That I don't have to fuss with too much later on. Because in a perfect world, at this point, if you're just making a bowl with no details, no surface decoration, all we have to do is let this guy set up and when it's leather hard, we'll clean it up and be done with it. But we're gonna be adding some surface treatment to the exterior, potentially the interior of this bowl. So in about 10 minutes, I've gotten the better part of a bowl built. I'll mess with the inside a little bit more. Once it's leather hard, I'll clean those bits and pieces up. When this part is nice and done, like leather hard and stiff, I'll clean up the top surface, do my surface decoration, and bang, just like that. Just like that.